Hello everybody, AD Nintendo Dogs here and welcome to my next Let's Play. The nostalgicness, it burns. <laughs> Sony Computer Entertainment America presents Universal Interactive Studios. Well, that's fine. I some man. I some whatever. Let's play Spiral the Dragon 1 for the PlayStation 1. And I am actually kind of annoyed with how the recordings of the game have of this game have went. I record I'll explain why later on, but for now I'm just going to just go ahead and start a new game. I'll just start it over the first file. Over right. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Bimbo. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That does it! Looks like I've got some things to do. <clears throat> the adventure begins. Now, I'm actually a bit irritated of how the recordings of, the, of this game went. The first recording went okay, I had everything uploaded, it's just I accidentally deleted the main video file, which I had 15 minutes left of that. And I didn't want to just have like a 15, like a 15 minute video, and then like a 30 minute video, and then like just completely skip to just something completely different. The second recording attempt it, I had a blue screen of death when trying to record this game, and then the third recording attempt, which is the third file, that messed up because my microphone kind of glitched out when I was recording the audio for this, and the audio did not get recorded other than seven minutes. And so it's like, I'm just feeling like, ugh, about trying to record this right now, and so that's why I haven't really had anything uploaded lately. And also it's raining where I'm at. Which also affects my internet connection. So that's why I haven't... That's another reason why I also haven't had anything really uploaded lately. Anyways, now finally onto this game. After we talk to or rescue one of these dragons inside of this statue. We rescued Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Alright, so this game, Spiral the Dragon 1, is basically your 3D platformer. You have your run, your, you have your run, your jump, your attack, and your things to collect. And I'll explain a little bit later on why I'm playing this g game. But for now, let's just keep rescuing dragons. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him! Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! 
Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. These dragon inside the statues are pretty much your equivalent to your Super Mario stars, which I don't really have anything else to really compare this to. So I'm just comparing it to that for now. These colored things I'm collecting, they're called gems. There's a certain amount in each stage. There's about a hundred in this stage. Or world. Because there's a few different worlds you can go to, and then there's all. They have stages within the world. Such as this one. If the camera would work. Stone Hill. This is like one of the first stages. I'm still a bit irritated though, like. Every time I tried recording this so far, it just has not wanted to run or record properly. Other than that first attempt, which I accidentally deleted the video file of. Rescue Thomas. Hey Spyro, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Alright, we just get three. The reason why I decided to do a Let's Play of this game is because I wanted to try doing a little bit more Let's Play variety instead of just Nintendo games. And so, or mainly Nintendo 64, GameCube, and Super Nintendo games. And so I've decided by playing a PlayStation game instead. And also, this was that whole poll thing that I made. This is the first game of the series, and then there was the fourth game of the series, which is Enter the, the Dragonfly for GameCube, which I decided to go with this one, because this one felt a little more original. And plus, I wanted to have like something simple when doing a Let's Play of a PlayStation game. I can't believe I'm having to, like, this is like a third time I'm having to, like, just re-commentate everything, though. And it's just it's kind of giving me a bleh feeling. I don't know if this is going to be a 100% Let's Play, because I never really played this game when I was younger, other than just this first world that I'm in. It's called, like, Home. I thought I had a lot of nostalgia for this game, but I actually don't, which is surprising. And before I go to the first stage, I'm going to go ahead and go to... Just keep collecting everything around here. And I do not like this little hill up here. It is difficult to glide to. Man. This might take a few attempts. <laughs> Other things I talked about in my original recording of this. The one that I actually had done that didn't glitch out or anything. I talked about how I didn't really like the PlayStation controller, how it felt like a Nintendo 64 controller, but right now I'm, get, now I'm getting a little more comfortable with it. I think it's just because of the placement of the controller stick. There we go. You ever get that feeling when you want to sneeze, but actually, like, you can't really sneeze, that you're just having your head like, all in the air and your mouth is open. Huh. It's kind of str a strange feeling. Too. We rescued Argus now. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. 
Alright, so we cannot go into this thing yet. We have to do more things. I'm going to try getting I'm going to try making this a 100 percent playthrough. Because like on my original recording, these the stages in this game are really small. And that's a good thing because I don't have to do a whole lot of exploring. If I don't know where if I don't know where anything is. Everything's just right there for you. Okay, so I'm missing five gems. Where could they be? Okay, now I'm just missing two. Where could those two be? Could they be over here? No, they are not. find those last two gems before I go to the first stage. I think I might remember where they are. They should be over here. Yeah, here, we, here they are. This thing right here is a Marco the Balloon Man and we cannot go to the next world unless we have ten dragons collected. So let's go to the first stage and collect or save some dragons and get some gems. All right. First stage, Stone Hill. Ouch! I hit the wall. The only good thing that comes out out of having to redo this numerous times is that I know where everything is. Because my original playthrough, my original recording, I didn't know where anything was. And so I was just blankly wandering around. And I just got hit by an enemy, which made sparks turn blue, which before it was yellow, so I just lost an HP. And I'm so glad that I feel, that I feel like I'm caught up with, like, the commentary and stuff. Now I can just talk about some n random things after... Okay, that was strange. <laughs> after I rescued... rescued Gildas. Gildas. Oh, my friend, how about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. That dragon looked like Salamance from Pokemon. <laughs> that was cool. And also, in my original recording, I used to just commentate over what the dragon said because my TV was very low volume and now that it's actually normal volume it's actually going to be kind of difficult to talk over the characters so I'm going to just have no commentary during character conversations okay so I'm looking for a key Where could that key be? Other PlayStation 1 games I have besides this are Final Fantasy 7, 8, and Final Fantasy 9. 40 links and that's about it. 
My brother had a copy of the Digimon World 1, which I'm going to see if I can buy that from him for like 10 to $15. And we rescued Nildar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Alrighty. I'm not I'm not going to save my progress until like I'm done recording and then everything got recorded alright. <laughs> on my original recording of this, I almost forgot to save my game. Like, I stopped recording, then I almost turned the PlayStation off without saving. That would have been horrible. We got another one up. And this is a return home panel, which will basically take us home, or we can just go there by the main menu. Or the pause menu. Rescued Ace Tor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. 